I miss this. I miss y'all. You know, I'm a, I'm a happy guy, but I'm happiest right here. Let's talk about faith. You know, I grew up, I love avocados. I grew, actually, my grandma had two avocado trees in her yard in California. And I was always in them picking avocados. But the first time I heard the story of the mustard seed, I thought, if I can move a mountain with the faith the size of a mustard seed, what could I do with the faith of an avocado seed? <laughs> so, for years, I prayed for the faith of an avocado seed. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, don't worry if you don't like avocados. Um, there's other seeds, but truthfully, we can just ask God to... You give us the faith that he wills us to have to do what he wills us to accomplish. I, I, just the other day I read, a, and it was a good mental picture of what faith looks like. What does faith look like? If you picture yourself leaning on Christ, not just a little bit, but leaning on him so much that if he moved, you'd fall over. That's what faith looks like. What do we do with faith? What do I do with the faith the size of a mustard seed? Do I just keep it safe, bring it to church, take it home, put it on a shelf till prayer time? And, or do I take it with me to work? Do I take it with me to the store? Remember, I'm leaning on Jesus. You can even picture yourself opening the door for him when you walk in somewhere. We're, we're called to be one with him. And the closer we are to him, the, the more faith that he'll, he'll bless us with. We look at this lady hemorrhaging for 12 years. There's some symbolism here there's also a little parallelism here we have we have jesus saying daughter your faith has saved you we have a synagogue official asking jesus to come and lay his hands on his daughter remember what jesus said to philip philip if you've seen me You've seen the Father. So we have two caring fathers here. In ancient Israel, as crazy as it may sound, when you were a 12-year-old girl, you were of age and it can be given in marriage. So we have the, 12, the woman that was bleeding for 12 years Not only could she not have a child, but the bleeding prevented her from worshiping at the temple. When she fell to her knees at Jesus' feet trembling, that's why, because you're considered impure if, if you have any blood. And you're, if somebody touches you with blood on them, then you're in tears. So she was trembling because she just touched Jesus. And you see, you can see the faith. If I but touch his garment, I will be cured. Jesus didn't, you know, like the leper. If you, if you will, if you will it, you can make me clean. I do will it. Jesus made him clean. But what happened here? If I but touch his garment. I will be cured. Daughter, your faith has saved you. The symbolism I want to address is, you know, we got the 12 tribes of Israel. We've got the 12 apostles representing the 12 tribes. We've got a woman hemorrhaging for 12 years, and then we've got a 12-year-old girl 
I'd like to look at these two. They, they, they represent the multitude. We are the multitude. This passage is talking to us, especially in this day and time. We have the woman who can't bring life into the world, can't even go and worship at the temple. But with the faith that she had, she was cured and she was able. Now she's, she can go out there. In ancient Israel, you were looked down on if you didn't have a child. And you, you felt shame. So she was full of shame because she couldn't worship, full, you know, full of shame because she couldn't have a child. And then we looked at this 12-year-old girl. In this context, this 12-year-old girl, we can look at her as the spiritually dead of age to bear children. In our multitude, there's so many that choose not to or choose death over life. I want to prevent bringing a child into this world. I'm too busy. I invite you to, to pray with me. I want to end with a prayer. And I'd like to pray that God grants us the faith that he wills us to have to accomplish the tasks he puts before us. I'd like to pray for all those with whatever affliction is preventing them from bringing life into the world. And I'd like to pray that Jesus lays his hands on the spiritually dead, that they may open, be open to life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask these things. We ask that your, your mother and our spiritual mother intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you.